Hey yo, what up guys? Dead Clan Gods here and well today I just wanted to show you how to install character mods. So as you notice if you saw my earlier video, I'm going to look in the link it into the description of how to install X2M mods. Now before I do start this, when you install an X2M mod and you put it in the game when you install a character mod for that it's gonna mess up the x2m mods and i'll show you that after because i have x2m mods installed so i will show you what it, what happened to all the x2m mods so first you're gonna want to go to the dragon ball xenoverse 2 mod page and basically what this is going to do you as you saw earlier this is where I get most of my mods. Now I am going to leave a description to where you can find this page in here. And he just messed up on Rigor, honestly. So I'm just going to find a mod that would be really simple. Because all these mods you see here is go is um, X2M. Okay, so I'm just trying to find it. Uh, so we just... Best way to find a character mod is to go all the way back over here. As you can see, future Gohan, character male, everything colorable. Might as well do the everything colorable one. So... Basically, I'm going to show you. So... I'm going to use a mod that makes all my clothing colorable. Now, I don't know if that's going to mess up my game with the characters. But, you know, it's better to find out. Now, if you don't know how to get to your Xenoverse 2 game, you can either go to Steam and use properties. Or you can go to where you store your games. Steam library, Steam apps, common, and Xenoverse 2 would be should be right there. Um, so, basically, what you're going to want to do is you're going to have to create a folder called data. All caps. And then another one called carrot and then these are all my mods sorry guys that's a big mess and then you're gonna want to make a new folder called human well hum in all caps this is your character's mods so these are all the mods i have installed for him so now you're gonna have the mod downloaded you want to go to your file explorer you go to downloads and you search it you search up the name of it um i spelled that wrong everything uh um everything callable for human sayings yeah right here you can close that file now then you go here as you can see human you would want to put that all in this human file from the data character and human after that it's going to ask you if you want to replace files you put replace the files in the destination um, and then basically you can just close this and close that and you're done your mods are installed now again I don't know but it may mess up your um it may mess up your mod for X2M characters so if you want to have a created character mod I recommend doing that before you add any characters so let's say if you want Super Saiyan 5, I would recommend add that Mario Super Saiyan 5 before you um, give in the X2M characters. Because then if you ha add the X2M characters first and then add a mod, with that, it, it would probably mess it up. Now it doesn't mess up everything. As you can see, I have the Gogeta pants on and it colored it blue. But you see the Broly and the little black Goku boots, it's just like silver. That's like the bugs that the mod also comes with. So, yes, there will be some flaws with the mods, but hey, it's worth it, right? So, as you can see, everything would be colorful. And I'm going to show you in the presets I have that it does work. And I'm going to show you my X2M mods probably broke. But we won't know until we check, right? Okay, so after that, after you install the beautiful mod, you want to go to your 
see if it worked, right? So let's just see real quick. I'm pretty sure I know it. Pro I know it works because I've seen. As you can see, my gloves messed up, but everything else is pretty dope. I don't know what the heck happened to my hands, but.